seven important things most survivors don't understand about narcissistic abuse. That's what we're talking about in this video. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa. I'm a trauma expert, top doctor, leadership catalyst for narcissistic abuse survivors, and CEO of Sustainably You, where we help soul-driven leaders like you transcend your past experience of narcissistic abuse to create greater impact and fulfillment while you're changing the world. Today we're talking about seven important things that most survivors just don't understand about narcissistic abuse. And back when I was living it, I didn't know them either. Narcissistic abuse is like being blindsided. The impact is intense, it's unexpected, there's significant damage. It shakes you to your very core. And in my work with thousands of survivors as a narcissistic abuse recovery specialist, I've found seven things that most people don't understand. Heck, I didn't understand them either. But understanding these seven things is key to healing. And if you're someone who's experienced narcissistic abuse and feels like you may never be whole again, you're gonna wanna hear all seven. First, the narcissist loathes you. This sounds cruel, but it's key to understanding their behavior. The narcissist's own self-loathing is so extreme that they had to create a persona to hide the intense, deep shame about who they really are. Then they project their loathing onto you. Those qualities that they admired about you, your confidence, your certainty, your intelligence, your success, your drive, your love of life, now intensifies their jealousy. They feel inadequate and they want you to feel that way too. And those qualities that you both share that they despise, your insecurity, inability to make a decision, sensitivity to friend drama, anxiety, those are not a source of common ground or bonding. They despise seeing these qualities in you because they remind them of the qualities that they despise in themselves. Number two, you never loved them. Now before blowing up the comments with anger and lashing out, hear me out for a second. Your feelings are real. You feel love, yes, but you don't feel love for them because they've never shown you who they really are. You fell in love with their persona, the role that they were playing. This is kind of like falling in love with Maverick instead of Tom Cruise. You fell in love with a character and this character showed you their vulnerable side, especially if they're a covert narcissist. They revealed the trauma of their past, the weaknesses, the dreams of a character. The fact that they never loved you doesn't say anything about who you are as a person. A persona, a character cannot love you. Number three, the trauma is still present until you release it. Trauma gets stored in your physical, your energetic body, and your subconscious mind. Think about that. Trauma is stored in your mind, your body, and your spirit. It's by design. Trauma is intended to get your attention, to show you where you are out of alignment before the traumatic experience occurred. And it shines a spotlight on the false story you told yourself about yourself as a result of what happened. That story that you've told yourself, that you're unsafe, that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, is false. Becoming aware of this trauma is absolutely imperative because it impacts your health, your wealth, your relationships, your impact. It frequently manifests as mental, physical, spiritual symptoms as financial challenges or setbacks, as career setbacks, as new narcissistic relationships. 
some of the signs that you're still impacted by trauma include physical symptoms, pain anywhere, digestive issues, headaches, heartburn, sometimes even asthma, mental symptoms like anxiety, rumination, insomnia, spiritual symptoms like overwhelm, confusion, wondering if you're the narcissist, financial symptoms like under-earning, overspending, unexpected expenses, and relationship symptoms, difficulty trusting yourself or others, isolation, new narcissistic relationships. The effects of trauma last far longer than you'd expect. Years, even decades, unless you follow a process to release it. Number four, the financial impact is profound. Of course, there are the obvious costs. Money spent directly on the narcissist in the relationship, legal fees to separate, maintenance, child support, medical and therapy expenses, and the money lost to missed opportunities as a result of the narcissistic relationship. But even more impactful is the financial impact that lasts for years, even decades beyond the end of that relationship. When you are an entrepreneur, business owner, or professional, the impact is far more pronounced. Again and again, I see several common financial mistakes that lead to missed opportunities, extreme effort with minimal results, predictable failures, costly errors, and more trauma. And if you want a copy of the free guide that I created that details all seven, the link is in the description. Number five, flying monkeys will never see the truth. This is a really tough pill to swallow. Those flying monkeys were your friends, your family, your neighbors, your colleagues. You thought you had a relationship with them. You thought that relationship was real, but it wasn't. They were seeing you through a distorted lens, a lens that clouded the way that they saw your actions, your motives, and even their feelings about you. For so many years, I wanted the flying monkeys to see the truth, to see who I really am. But this was pointless because their cognitive dissonance and their desire to believe the false story told by the narcissist was just too great. Number six, you attract new narcissists and new drama from old narcissists. You may either be feeling like everyone in the world is a narcissist, or like here you were just walking down the street, minding your own business, and you're randomly approached by another narcissist. Fortunately, neither is true. The world is not full of narcissists, though yours may be. You also weren't targeted randomly. You have characteristics and a unique narcissist attractant that make you an ideal target. And in addition to being a person of high value, common attractive or ideal characteristics include people pleasing, poor boundary setting, willingness to accept blame for things other people do, caretaking. But your unique attractant is your trauma bond with other narcissists. Parents, siblings, grandparents, past romantic partners, past friends. The trauma bond is not limited to the thing that makes you want to stay in the relationship. It lies below the surface, calling in new narcissists and old narcissist drama until you consciously choose to break it. And realizing that you're an ideal narcissist target is both profound and empowering because when you take action with a proven process you have the ability to stop attracting them and repel the narcissists instead number seven is it is completely possible to heal time and again i interact with people who've accepted a certain level of brokenness almost like it's expected or normal kind of like how 
you know, an old fracture site aches when the weather changes, even years later. And I, I hear and I see narcissistic abuse coaches counseling people on the same, that your life will never be normal, that there's no way to undo it, that there's no way to eliminate the CPTSD, but that you can get to this new level of acceptance of your new normal. Can I just tell you that's a complete and total pile of crap? It's only because they haven't completed their healing. They don't have business coaching anyone else because they haven't done their own healing. And they don't know that what they're saying isn't true. You are not permanently broken or damaged unless you wish to be. The processes that I learned on my own healing journey that I now share with others not only made me feel whole, at peace, full of joy, they showed me how to leverage my experience to create massive leaps in health, wealth, relationships, and impact. My past experience of narcissistic abuse has become my superpower in all aspects of business and life. It can for you too. And if you want help with that, comment I'm ready and let's have a conversation.